What's up, guys? I'm Olivia. And I'm Kyle. And we're driving and vibing. It has been two weeks since we've given you an update on the Airstream renovation. So today's video is all about the progress we've made. So stay tuned. to our channel everyone thank you guys so much for joining us today we are excited to show you what we've been doing we've been busy bees over here oh and if you can't tell we are glistening from sweat it has been a cool 90 degrees today and high <laughs> humidity so it has been uh summertime is here needless to yes, say yes yes here in alabama humidity is like at 90 percent or something insane so uh it's it's really enjoyable to uh, work on the Argosy lately. So let's show you what we've been up to. I'll start on the outside and then Olivia can show you the cool stuff that's been happening on the inside. So come on. All right guys, so one of the big things we have going on is getting the exterior ready to paint and the list of things to do is about 50 items long but one of the main ones is taking care of all of the holes from the previous items that were on the airstream so right here there used to be a furnace and we do not have a furnace in this one we didn't want to uh, show these holes for no reason so I put a plate here to cover it up and that is part of what's been going on boring stuff on the outside but if you come over here i can show you one of the uh more maybe you could say exciting but really it was nerve-wracking projects i love the wheel wells we put inside here they are massive they are sturdy i have so much confidence in the case of a blowout that these wheel wells will stand the test but one of the things i didn't realize at that time was that the trim of the pre-existing Argosy right here did not take the shape of the new wheel wells we created. The old wheel wells had more of a curved design at the bottom. So I had to edit this piece of trim and it really was nerve wracking. And I'm not necessarily uh, loving the end result right now, but let me show you, come over here. All right, so we switched sides to get a better view. But uh, so this is the wheel, well. this is the um, trim that's going on the wheel well and it used to come down and curve underneath and follow the body along. The new wheel well doesn't do that, so I had to cut off pieces of this trim and try to make it look as aesthetically pleasing as possible. Right now, it all looks a little cluttered because it's just, uh, we have the trim, we have the caulking, we have the paint, you know. Once we paint this thing, I hope it's a little more seamless. From afar, it looks good, but uh, it's just, something we had to do because we just could not use the whole trim the way it was. But one of the more exciting projects for me that has been started is trying to buff up this aluminum stripe. Uh, this is where we buffed it. Look at this. It's almost a mirror finish. Uh, you can see me a little bit, but uh, what I really like is putting my hand up to it. You can really see the mirror of the hand. That's pretty cool. So the polish we were using today was enough to give it, give the clean areas the finish we liked, but there are some problem areas with scratches that we're gonna get, need to get a little bit of a coarser polish to clean up those scratches, make them smooth again. So it's gonna be a longer process. We gotta wait for those supplies, but uh, it's exciting to see this stripe getting all clean. One more thing that we need to get done before we paint it. All right, y'all, so now we're up on a ladder to show you one more thing that just needed to be on that 50 item checklist to get completed before we paint it. And that was replacing the um, old flapping lid that was over the oven vent. We replaced that with something we got from ICANN Industries. It's a company out of Canada, and it is a replica of the old vents. There you go, the light was kind of blurring it out. but. Uh, it looks good and it looks sleek and uh, I think it will be sealed up well. So one more thing, there you go. You could get a good view of it there. 
to get done on our long checklist, but painting will be coming soon. Right, guys come on inside and I'll show you some of the stuff we've been working on so we did the floor over about a three-day period only working a couple hours of, at a time we could have knocked it out in a day but considering um, my belly and my back it was not good to stay on the floor and get up and down so much so we kept it short um, and easy and it was very easy to install we we're very impressed with this flooring so far it feels really good underfoot we got the um, life proof flooring um, from Home Depot and it has a thicker backing on it. So it's a little bit more forgiving if your subfloor is unlevel, which ours definitely is. And uh, it gives you a little bit more cushion too. So because this flooring is a little bit thicker than say like the Allure flooring, it was much harder to score and snap. So we just ended up using the jigsaw and the chop saw to cut boards to length and it was so much easier and faster. The quarter round was a little bit more challenging than we expected because we didn't want to have to be walking back and forth from the wood shop um, to cut these angles. So we used this cutting tool that has the angles already on there. So it has like little gauges, but our quarter round was too thick to actually fit down in there so I had to make these little spacers uh, to get the angle correct and it still wasn't exactly perfect but it was much closer than when we were eyeballing it um, so there was a few little gaps and stuff um, but we just put a little caulk to fill any ones that didn't fit up just perfectly and we will uh, cover those up with a little bit of paint we have lots of touch-up paint to do in here still on the cabinets, on some of the trim, just different places that get nicked or when we do the little pin nails in there and they leave little marks. So we will polish all of that up soon. A lot of you have been asking, where's the baby going to sleep? And a lot of you have guessed that this area will end up being her crib. It is going to be a transitional space. We still want to be able to use it as a couch during the day, but we are going to put up a, a retractable baby gate right here, which is going to be like a mesh material. It's really sturdy and it'll pull across and lock. We might secure uh, the bottom down here with something, depending. We haven't ordered it yet, so we don't really know, but this cushion um, is made out of the same foam that is used for baby mattresses. I really wanted it to be safe and not too soft because the baby mattresses are supposed to be really firm so their faces can't smush into it. Um, so it's very comfortable, it's a very high quality, premium, extra firm foam. I even got this vinyl cover custom made for it. The whole thing will be upholstered soon and we'll have some custom little baby sheets to go on top of it as well. A lot of you may recognize this vintage door that we had snagged a few months back back when the Mortons were still in town and we finally got to hang it the other day after we finished the flooring. I think it really matches so much better than I thought uh, it, it might end up being because we bought it so long ago. That was before we had stained the countertop yet um, and seeing the floor and the counter and the door together all of the woods do work well together. I was a little nervous at first that there was too much wood going on but I know it's still empty yet and we don't have all of our decor and our fabric and our artwork up so I think it's all going to balance out really nicely. We haven't found the perfect doorknob yet. I would love to find a cute little vintage doorknob to go here. I'm still on the hunt for that uh, so stay tuned. Um, but we also have a surprise inside the bathroom so come this way. So you may notice that we have a new seat back here. We finally installed our airhead toilet, composting toilet today. We are very, very excited. 
it went very smoothly um, we're very excited about it it fits the space perfectly it was a small little space to fit um, so the size works perfectly we're really excited tr to try it out and compare it to the nature's head but we will have a video coming out tomorrow with all the details about the toilet the installation and why we decided to change brands And the last little piece of progress that we made was Olivia bought all the crates to put in their respective places <laughs> underneath the bed for storage, more than anything to really see how it looks. And I think it looks awesome. Yeah, so I'm in the process of starting the whole decorating process. I'm getting the upholstery done. We'll have our mattress in here very soon, as soon as we get all these tools off the bed platform. Mm. Uh, that is the last space is, that is taken over by tools in here. The rest of the trailer is pretty well cleared out from all of the construction mess so far. That is the last area that is holding some of our tools um, and that will be cleared out very soon. So I was excited to go ahead and buy the cubbies, buy the fabric um, for the bench back here in the baby bed and we'll get to start putting some artwork up here soon. It's going to really start looking a lot more homey here yeah. in the next few weeks I think. And like I said in the beginning of the video, with the outside, there's about a checklist of 50 items long that are just small things that need to get done before we paint. Same goes on the inside, mm -hmm. small little things. Yeah. But uh, honestly, I can't believe we're gonna be ready for the reveal and it's gonna be looking good. Yes, I feel very confident. We are definitely gonna make <laughs> that reveal date. We always knew that we would, but it feels good to see the progress and to know that I will have a little bit of time to put our personal touch into it as well before you guys all get to come in and see it for yourselves. And thank you everyone who has asked how I've been doing and how the baby's doing and making sure that I don't work too hard. I appreciate all of you thinking of me. We are both doing great other than being super hot here in Alabama. I'm actually 28 weeks today, so third trimester. We're right here uh, in the last stretch, 12 more weeks till we meet our baby girl and we are very, very excited. But we're both feeling good and excited and ready for all these new changes. Yes, and actually the feeling of joy and happiness has been coming back into my life, I know. Uh, it's so hard whenever a project like this is just chugging along with such little progress. In these last few weeks, we have seen so much progress here. We've seen so much progress with Olivia's mm -hmm. belly. And uh, it's just been a joy of an experience. Yes, so it's good to it's a good feeling to know that we have somewhere to bring the yes. baby home to. Uh, I think that's been a little on the forefront of our minds lately, uh, just knocking this project out so that we can really start making it our home and getting it ready for the baby. So thank you guys for tuning in. Remember to check out the composting toilet video tomorrow about why we decided to switch to the airhead. Thank you guys so much for joining us and we'll see you next time. Later on.